good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Sorry, pick as appropriate with the time you are viewing this video. Yeah, this is this video is specifically for 500 level students of 2020-2021. That is those said that are graduating. And I need to make this known that it is not all the names you have here that are graduating. We just want to have a final verification of names for that set. So out of which those that will be graduating will be graduating with proper arrangement of names. So the fact that you have your name here does not imply you are graduating. Vice versa, please. Now, before you come here, obviously your class rep should have posted you this link. Okay, all you need to do is click on this link. It's going to direct you straight to this page where you see the list of all 500 level students that paid, registered, and have results on their portal as at their 500 level. Hell enough, okay? So if your name is not A, it is an indication that you may not be graduating with your cert. Probably you did not pay early enough and you did not register your courses enough, early enough rather, or you do not have results on your portal, early enough, okay? So the names of these people, the results of these people have been pushed and verified at the SBC. So it is from there we will not be able to pick those that are graduating and those that are not graduating. So you can just diligently wait for the final list of those that are graduating or not, okay? But what we want, to, what we want you to do specifically is to just ensure that your names are properly arranged in if you in case you are, you are going to be among the graduating list, so that you don't have any error or whatever on your name, okay? Because it's it's more tedious when when the names are published or on on the the statement of result and it comes out incorrect. It will cost you a lot in terms of time and the resources, okay? So. When you get into this page, what you need to do is come to the fifth cell here, which is cell A. On the first, second, third, and fourth cell, there is nothing you can do. It has been locked. It has been locked. So if you make attempts at editing anything here, you will see a warning information, a warning flag that you are trying to protect it to edit a protected cell or object. Please contact the spreadsheet on that to remove protection if you need to edit. And definitely, you will not be given the privilege to edit because we want the, the page protected. The first four cells protected. So when you have any observation, possibly you, by name, you are Chuku Osita Emmanuel. Please forgive me in whatever way if, if I pronounce your name wrongly, okay? So possibly your own name should be Chuku Emmanuel Osita and not Chuku Osita Emmanuel. So this is where you are going to make the comment. You can just simply say Emmanuel comes before Osita. Simple. And after that, you drop it. So after dropping yours, you don't need to come here and delete any other person's comments. Just make your comments and go. After you've done that, we'll, from our own hand, we'll, we'll retrieve the information and make necessary correction if it is not something that requires official writing or whatever. Okay? So. It is not for you to download this Excel sheet. It is basically useless for you, okay? Because after you have downloaded this, then you have access to edit anything there. After editing, so what do you want to do with it? You can't send it to us to work with. It's not possible. So we are working only with this document that we have online here, okay? So what you need to do is locate your matric number. You can search. This is the first, the first list is for economics. I think they followed by political science. You can see. This is for sociology sets, uh, business administration, and all of that. So when you're done, when you're done, you simply come to the fifth colon here, at the sixth, at the fifth cell, uh, the colored one, in the very front of your name. Type the comments there. Ah, my son name was used as my third name. Why my third name was used as my first name? Just make up your comments and go. Okay, and it should be it should be noted also that. In the printing of statements of result and certificates, acronym is not allowed. So you are advised to spell out what the acronym implies or you remove the acronym entirely. Thank you.